How do you think your game has developed since you've been here? Just, I suppose, at the start, maybe just getting used to the, the day-to-day training and stuff. I mean, I came from university where I probably only trained three days a week, really, and, and was in the gym probably once a week. So just getting used to, you know, everyday training, getting the body to that, which at first was quite tough. Um, on the pitch side of things, just probably my game management. Obviously, when you step up a level, everything's slightly quicker. I mean, defences are better. Attack, everything's got to be a bit sharper. So just, just being a bit sharper with everything I do, and I think that's still coming. I've still got, obviously, a lot to do, but a lot to improve on. But that's, you know, that's coming, and just, you know, every day with training and training all the players, the good players we've got around us, you know, just hopefully all the things will just get better and better. So. I think it's always something I've wanted to do, but I never... I never worry too much about it. I mean, I've, I've always wanted to play professional rugby. And while I was at uni, obviously I was doing my studies and stuff. And the, I mean, the standard rugby there was quite good. And I was in my first year, I was involved with the 20s up here, which was which was great. And uh, and I was just just trying to play well and just you know every week just enjoying rugby. And then I got the I got the call saying, did I want to come up for a, for a trial? And it's all gone really quick from there, to be honest. Is there a sense of you maybe having to pinch yourself sometimes, you know, when you see how quickly things have A, li- a little bit, on? yeah. I mean, last year's season we played to lose in the Heineken Cup and uh, I think, obviously I, st- I started the home game, which was great, but when we went away to Toulouse, I was on the bench, but just the atmosphere there, and we got off the bus and there were loads of people around the bus and obviously some of the players have got on their team sheet was un- was unbelievable. I did pinch myself a little bit there, like I was at, you know, playing in, I think it was National 2 uh, North in, in England last, or the season before, so... And even with the players we've, we've got, um, we've got here, you know, some of the Scotland internationals have been around for ages. So it's uh, it is a bit like that, but but now nah, just you know, the teammates now, so you just get on with it and, and just try and you know improve. So when when you signed your new deal recently, Sean O'Neill was kind of quoted as saying, you know, you've had to show a lot of patience because the position you're in, and you're, you're up against guys like Chris Cusseter. How difficult has that been? But on the other side of that, how much have you learned from playing with Chris? Um, I don't think it's been difficult. It's been frustrating. Obviously, I want to play. Everyone wants to play. And Chris is there because he's, you know, he's earned it and he's been around for a long time. And obviously, he's, a, he's been a quality player for Scotland and for club. So it's been frustrating. And yeah, I've learned, I've learned loads. Last season was tough for Chris because he didn't, obviously, he, wasn't, he was injured for most of the season. So he wasn't really around in training a lot. But he was obviously helpful off the pitch. He helped me with you know, going through my games at times and stuff. And, the stuff he could do was, was useful, and this season it's just it's been good to watch him, just learn how he trains and stuff, watch him, you know, pick up little things here and there, and uh, just the way he conducts himself. But um, yeah, it's been good. It's, I'm mean, trying to push him as hard as I can, and at the moment, obviously, he's away with Scotland, and uh, I've got I've got a bit of a chance at the moment for hopefully a run of games where I can just you know, put my best foot forward and and try and make it difficult for when he comes back. What, what's the general spirit like here? You know, I mean, the, the, the team are able to, to grind out results when it's a tough game and they've they've, they've gone on a great run. Uh, what, is, what, what does it say about the, the camaraderie between the, the, the players? I think it's great. I think pre-season was a was a big time for us. Obviously, last season was tough, and we came in came in first week of pre-season and we sat down. There were a lot of meetings and stuff about how we wanted to go forward, and we we spoke, you know, as a group with the coaches, and management, and stuff, and and what our values were going to be and how we were going to. Improved from last season, I think you know the, the basics like our defence, you know stuff like that really builds. It just shows the team's character and stuff. And our defence, I think the season has been really good, and it's something we can build on. Um, our attack's getting better and better, so just stuff like that, working hard for each other. I think training this season has gone up a few notches as well. Um, just every day going out, working really hard, trying to improve. And I think there's we've we've seen you know, the results on the pitch. Not all our wins have been that pretty, but I think things you know things are really going in the right way. Is there, a, is there a lot of honesty within the squad? Yeah, you know, that if, if players definitely. aren't maybe coming up to the mark, that I think there'll be others there that will get Yeah, we see that, you see that in meetings. I think, you know, people aren't afraid to call people out when, um, and, you know, think things should be done better or even individuals saying, you know, that was, you know, I take responsibility there. And I think, you know, we see that in training and in meetings and stuff and that's, yeah, that's definitely helping and it's, it, we're going in the right direction. So. What's it like for you working with Sean Lane? Um, he's been really good to me. Obviously, I've this is my first taste in professional rugby, so it's it's been good. You know, he helps. We we have a lot of you know decision makers meetings and you know chatting through nines and tens, and we go through our games a lot and just looking at you know what what we've done well, what we can improve on, and it's just a, a week to week thing. It's just you know I suppose mentoring me. Um, it's not just Sean. Sean's been great, but just all the players and all the management. There's always you know there's you'd be always picking up things from different people at time, different times. So that's been great. You mentioned, you know, obviously you're a nine. You know, you're in a position with a lot of responsibility. 
are you are you the kind of character as a person that can you know, was quite happy to take on responsibility, quite happy to be bossing about senior internationals? I, I think that's probably one of the things you know I need to that I've I've been picking up. You know that's something I've I've got to work on and keep improving on. It's <laughs> at times it's tough when you're telling you know you're telling Al Keller what to do, which at times is you're like oh, <laughs> but um, that's that's part of my job. So that's something I need to keep improving on and keep uh, keep working on. But so, I mean Sean's Sean's great with that. He, you know keeps telling me you know be confident. You know, Boss those sports around because that's my job, so that's something I've got to, got to be doing.